If you have respiratory issues, best to just try and stay inside if you can, which is probably going to be good advice because temperatures are going to be super hot today, John. Yeah, if it wasn't the air quality, it'd be the triple digits that were already probably keeping a whole lot of us inside today. We're talking a lot of summer conditions today, whether it be the air quality or the excessively hot temperatures. We're also in the midst of heightened fire danger. As we all know, we've been that way for a while now just because we've been so dry. Air quality is already less than ideal and it's expected to be impacted more so this afternoon too, so that's the air alert in effect for good reason in the moderate category for much of the North Bay, East Bay, as well as South Bay and Peninsula. So definitely a morning already that we aren't looking at necessarily the clearest view at the horizon. That's a little bit of haze you're seeing there in the distance. Radar is showing you clear skies overall. Once we get over that hazy layer, we're not really talking much marine layer today though. High pressures in place and it's keeping ocean cooled air away from the coast and that means we're all in for quite the warm up today. Even our coastal areas are going to be on the warmer side of things compared to average. Hottest spots though certainly are inland areas in Solano County notably under an excessive heat warning from noon until 9 p.m. tonight. Areas like Vacaville rising to 105 today. We do have heat advisories in Peach for inland portions of Alameda and Contra Costa counties. Still hot right along the Bay Shore with highs as warm as the upper 80s to low 90s in those spots. And also looking at some heat advisories for Marin, Sonoma, uh, up into Napa Lake and Mendocino counties too. Now winds are nice and calm this morning. That's why we're not really seeing much marine layer. It's not pushing inland and we're really going to be warming up all across the Bay Area. Something happens late this afternoon though. That marine air kicks back into gear. That's going to mean a cool sea breeze pushes in after our excessively hot daytime highs. This is actually going to cool us down into your evening tomorrow night. So whereas we're really warm right now, didn't really cool off much last Last night, tonight we are actually going to see some relief and that will be reflected as well in tomorrow's daytime highs, making today the hottest one. After this, it's downhill as far as temperatures go, getting more and more comfortable. 70s and 80s for your highs in San Francisco today, 60s to 70s right along the coastline. Beautiful day out there. South San Francisco, 81, where as looking from San Carlos down through Mountain View and eventually into the South Bay, it's just going to be 90s for your highs today. San Jose at 96 today. Livermore at 102. Hayward, Fremont right along the Bay Shore in the 90s, while Oakland getting close at 88 degrees. Concord, you'll be at 103. Vacaville, 105. Pittsburgh, Napa, Yauntville also in the triple digits. Santa Rosa close at 99 today. Now tomorrow's temperatures cooling 10 degrees for our average inland, bayside, and even coastal highs falling as much as 10 degrees from today into tomorrow. Wednesday getting even cooler yet. By Wednesday on through the rest of the weekend into the weekend, expect our warmest temperatures to only be in the 80s. Back to you, James. All right, thank you very much, John. Quick check of a few bridges.